So, you know, most people feel that art should match the couch or the couch should match the art or, you know, it's all decoration. But did you know that art can be so powerful? What most people don't realize is it can also be inspirational and a phenomenal tool to increase your spiritual awareness. Of course, it's great if your art matches your couch and it goes in with a color scheme. I mean, I get that, but art can be so much more than that. It can make you feel so good. I create visionary portraits and they can raise your awareness. They can inspire you. They can direct you to be who you really want to be and do the things you really want to do make you feel really good about yourself and take you to that place when you look at it. I want to tell you a story about the Renaissance. So the Pope hired Michelangelo, fabulous, the greatest artist in the world, Michelangelo. He hired him to do decorative art in the Sistine ceiling. He hired him to do 12 apostles, which the intention was just to decorate the ceiling because it was a little bit plain. So even the Pope's vision was decoration, put art up there to decorate. So Michelangelo started painting the apostles and he had these powerful figures up on the ceilings, but it just didn't do any for him. One, it didn't do anything for him. So one day he looked at the apostle and just took buckets of paint and threw it all over the apostles and said, I cannot do this decoration. Apostles just up in the ceiling, doesn't say or do anything. He ran out of town and left the whole project and just said, forget it. And he didn't come back until one day he had this inspirational dream, this vision of the, gen the whole book of the Genesis. He did sketches, he saw the entire book of Genesis up on the ceiling. He was so inspired and he came back and told the Pope, I have this plan, it's gonna take four years to paint, but that's okay, or he didn't know it was gonna take four years then, but anyway, he was so inspired. And the Pope, he changed the Pope's attitude completely. The Pope was so taken in by the inspirational ceiling. And he, at the end of it, you know what he told Michelangelo? He said, you should be Pope instead of me. You are so connected to God, much more than I am. Please tell me about this God. The Pope just looked at that and just went, I want your connection. I want what you've got. <laughs> And I have to tell you, that ceiling changed my life. I was 19 years old, I saw the Sistine ceiling, and I felt like I had an out-of-body experience. I was just swooning. I, I mean, I, I just, I, I, it's impossible to describe, but it changed my life forever. I was so connected to the spiritual power of that ceiling. And I said, if art can be that powerful, I have to be a part of it. I didn't really know what I was gonna major in at that point, but that, was the moment I said, I have to be an artist. And that's where all this is coming from. It's coming from the inspiration of the spiritual work that I've seen and been a part of. When I create visionary portraits, that's what happens. It's just such an intuitional connection and spiritual connection. So I agree with Michelangelo. If art doesn't have a spiritual message, if it doesn't speak to you, if it doesn't pull you in and connect you, and take you to a higher place. To me, art's not worth having around. That's been my prerequisite. And what's really cool is the exciting part starts after you get the portrait hanging on your wall. Can you see it? Can you feel it? Like, see it hanging there? And it's expressing your higher self. I send you some suggestions on ways you can work with your portrait. It might be like a part of your morning routine, maybe a minute or a couple minutes or some work where, where your, your portrait really speaks to you, you speak to it. This portrait expresses you now because that's the whole key in life, isn't it? Enjoying now, enjoying who you are now. And then when you feel the energy of a portrait, it expresses your your energy, symbols, uh, could be your spirit animal, could be you with your spirit animal, could be just your spirit animal. It can be all kinds of things. We can talk about all those possibilities. We can discuss that to get a vision begun that you feel you're most connected to. And then my intuition goes from there. I intuitionally tune in to what you need. I'll talk more about this on another video, but I just wanted to briefly introduce it. But for now, if you'd like to go to my website, joanmarieart.com. Have a beautiful day. Bye.